Welcome to CL Adventure. See Christian wife Al Larissa Adventure. So today we are sharing to you the five tips of hunting yellowtail. This techniques I've never heard them before. I've learned them over the years. I'm doing spear fishing for eight years now and no one is willing to share them. Out on the slip and you see one boat has got a lot of yellowtail and, and your boat has no yellowtail. Just to have a see-through line, not to make the fish uh, aware that something, something is fishy. You know what I'm saying. It's me again from the couch. I just want to remind you that uh, that red button down there, you know, the subscribe button, maybe. Maybe you can give it a little press if you haven't yet. And that bell, you know for our next video. Okay, let's get back. So this is now your flasher. So now you're going out. Now let's start tip number one. You are going out on a shore dive and you know there's yellowtail in the area. You've got some good reports. There's yellowtail in the area. You know you can dive comfortably at 10 meters, but you want to stay around eight meters. And so this flasher, you don't want to make it uh, too deep otherwise it drags on the uh, bottom and you want to make it roughly six meters let's say you want to dive a 10 meters you make it six seven meters uh, your flasher so you take your flasher with your floating buoy and you swim out if you are uncomfortable of just using your spear gun with your reel you can have another buoy line that is connected to your gun with another 20 meters with another boy. So now you're having two boys. One is your flasher, it's straight down. You kind of swim with it in your hand and move, uh, swim with it, with it. And then behind is dragging your 20 meter line um, with your gun. If you are comfortable, which I do not recommend, but I do it, I don't like that 20 meters of line with the boy if I know my yellow towel, you know, what we are hunting here. I don't dive with it. I just dive with my real gun and um, that's fine. And then with my flasher. So now you're doing a shore knife. You have heard there's yellow tail in the area. You take your flasher, you take your gun, you have a reel on it or you have a, a fixed line on it without the reel attached to your boy. You swim out, you see these birds that dives down that catches the same bait fish as the yellowtail is hunting if you see them approach or you see them in a the distance you move closer towards them and the yellowtail you see the yellowtails underneath you now you have now the opportunity to spearfish the yellowtail what do you do you fill up your lungs with a deep breath you dive down now as you are diving down which happened with me the yellowtail passed underneath me or the yellow tail is, is approaching me. You dive down where you are comfortable, let's say six meters. The depth of the bottom floor is maybe 12 meters. You dive down to six and float or six or eight meters. You stop, dead stop. You keep your gun tucked underneath your body. Just for this purpose, I'm gonna take the shorter gun. You have your gun tucked underneath your body. You dive down and you stay dead still. Now, one of the biggest or hidden techniques on this is because the yellowtail is so curious fish, this works wonders. You make a noise with your throat. So you make... You can try to do that now and try to do it underwater. You go... And that... is one of the hidden techniques which I don't hear anyone tell one another or see it on the internet. With that, I've shot a lot of yellowtail that moved away from me. And as I make that noise, they turn around and they come have a look. What is that noise? So you stay dead still, you go. You wait for them to move in. When they move in, you push out your gun and you get a nice shot behind the head nicely in the middle 
uh, of the spine, middle of the fish, behind the head, and you land the fish. Sub, 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 subscribe! So that is a shore dive. Another thing, if the dive is six meters deep and you see the yellow tail passing underneath you, another technique on that is you dive down to the bottom. You kind of, as you are diving down, the yellow tail will dive down as well. They will kind of move away from you. But you try to block them in with the bottom floor. When you block them in, they, can, they cannot go deeper than the floor. Then you stay calm, you stop finning, you stay relaxed, you make the noise from the throat and they will come around and then you have a clear shot to so use the bottom floor for your advantage. Okay, let's jump with that to tip number two. Let's say you dive from a boat your first time, you've got your gun, uh, there's uh, two flashes, you have your own flasher. You get off from the boat, it's just open blue water, you see your friend swimming left, one swimming right. Uh, what do you do for your first time spearfishing yellowtail? So, what you first want to look, the skipper is dropping you into the school of fish, so he sees it all on the sonar, uh, the fish finder, or he sees the birds moving, so you want to move towards the birds. If your friend is going away from the birds, don't follow your friend. Or call your friend or, or inform your friend we are go moving your dive buddy you are moving towards the school uh, of birds that is diving down for those bait fish because the yellowtail is pressing up the bait fish to the uh, surface so they can't go anywhere the birds is catching that fish and you know the yellowtail is literally on that surface you don't even have to dive down you can see them just underwater you can see them on the surface so you swim to your yellow, to the school of fish, yellow tail. If you are close, close by, you can already start diving down, even if you don't see the yellow tail. That personally, I don't like that much. What I like to do is, I like to swim into slowly, nicely, gently into that school until the fish is literally all around me. The fish is all around me. Now you are diving down. As soon as you're gonna dive down, that whole school of 40 fish or 50 fish is starting to dive down as well. Now the sea bottom is open blue water, is 60 meters. You can only dive 8 meters or 6 meters. What do you do? Because the school of fish is just diving down, it's just going further away from you. What do you do? Now the technique on this is you dive down to where your depth, let's say six meters, or let's say eight meters, between six and eight. You dive down there, you stop to swim. That's the biggest technique is you stop to swim down. You just stop there. You remain calm and you start with the noise. You don't make any movements with your flippers. You, you are towards the fish. You keep the gun tucked in underneath you, like this. You keep it tucked in, you stay at six meters, you just go. That's it. It's that easy. Six meters in, you make your throat. The yellow tail will stop to swim down. And they will start coming and checking you out. They will have a look, what is this? But as soon as you continue swimming, they will swim down. They will go all the way to 60 meters. I've chased fish up until 20 meters down, but I could have stopped at 6 meters. I could have stopped at 6 meters, but I swam down to 20 meters. As long as you are swimming down, the yellowtail will swim down with you. And these techniques, no one will tell you. It's just, I've never heard it. I just had to experience it over the years. And I want to give this to you freely. Sub, 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 subscribe! So you swim, you stop at six meters. The yellow tail will stop. They come towards you. You relax, you make with your throat to get their attention. What they also mean by playing the rubbers. I don't know if you have heard that term. But that is when your gun the rubbers are, you know, tight and ready to shoot. Your gun is loaded. Then they take the rubber and they do this. They take the rubber and they pull it. Just like that. Now that also can work, but what I've seen working much better is the noise from the throat. Then 
playing your rubbers, as they call it. So at six meters, the fish comes up, boom, you land your fish. Don't have to do 20 meters, don't have to dive deep. That is when the fish is on the surface of, of the water. Then there is reefs. If you dive down on a reef, then if the reef is 20 meters deep and the school of fish stays at the reef and you can only dive six meters, <laughs> you use your flasher. You put your flasher on at six meters, but this is this is where you're supposed to, if you know you're diving that deep and you can only dive six meters, rather avoid that trip if you know they're moving around or take your chances and hope they come to your flasher. So your flasher, you put as deep as you want to dive. If you can dive only six meters, you put your flash on six meters, you swim around until that school of fish comes towards you. If you're in the area of the yellowtail, wait for them until you see them uh, the flash attracting them and you can shoot them. If the school of fish is on the top of the water, you swim towards them like explained and, and you shoot them. Going to the next tip. So I've dropped a couple of tips in between. Um, as I go along, I'm not numbering all of them and there will be much more than five tips. But let's just go to the next one. Let's say you shoot your yellow tail but you have a bad shot. You shot it too low, it's in a belly. You can see already when you're pulling it, it wants to tear out or you shot it in the back of the tail, a little bit low, it's not a secure shot. You look up, you come to the surface, you look up where's your dive body and you see your dive body is a good 20 meters away and you are shouting to him, you can't, he maybe just shot a fish. So no one can assist you with landing this fish. You are all alone in a sense that no one can dive down. So normally if a dive buddy is next to you, can ask him, can you please second shot my fish? Meaning he dives down with his loaded gun. You are kind of just hold a slight tension on your, on your line, not jerking it because it's a bad shot. You can uh, tore it out your, your spear. So you just hold a gentle uh, tension and he dives down and he shoots an, another spear and you secure the fish. But let's say in the case there is nobody near you, it's only you now. They already shot, their guns are not loaded, they are too far away, whatever the case may be. Now what do you do? Your line is bad, you're looking, you can see the fish under the water, you see hey, if I'm going to jerk this fish up, it's definitely going to tear out. What do you do? You take a deep breath, you relax, so your lungs, your heart rate can relax, you take a deep breath, you dive down, as you dive down, you gently pull the line as you're going down, you gently keep that tension on the line as you're swimming down, and you try to get behind the fish and grab the tail of the fish. When you're going to grab the tail of the fish, expect a immense of power from that fish and slippery you know like my first time when i tried that it, it slips and the power and it kicks out of your hand so when you're diving when you're gonna grab it have in your mind that you are grabbing you know you you are grabbing to hold on to it you are serious you're gonna do it with everything so when you come behind it you grab it still when it shakes you hold it you expect it and then you go and put your hands in its gills also and you have your hands in its gills make sure you kind of secure your spear um, one thing you can also do is put your hand through your rubbers and when you dive down so if the spear tears out you know your gun is secured or when you get at the bottom when you grab the tail you secure the fish you secure your spear as well and then you swim up with your spear and with your yellow tail to the surface. That is when you have landed a bad shot. So these are a couple of tips that I hope that can help you improve your spear fishing with yellow tail if it's your first time or if it's not your first time. That technique with the throat, I will say is, is, is the best technique I have experience of bringing the fish back to me. I've seen fish swim away from me underneath. I dive down. I don't see the fish, the yellow tail anymore. Um, they swim away from me, I dive down and as I'm down I just go and then the fish 
yellow towel, you see them turn around and you see their faces, they are on their way to check you out. Biggest technique uh, that works the best for me and then secondly stop to swim down get your comfortable depth of you are comfortable with 10 meters swim down on 10 meters and stop there stay relaxed go with the throat make your noise and they will literally from 20 meters come up to 10 meters and you can shoot your fish they will come to you. If you continue to swim down and say, no, but they are just there. I'm just going to get them. Be assured they're going to continue to swim because you put fear in them. You are a predator. You are hunting them. But when you stop and you relax, then they think, hey, but this is not dangerous. This is maybe a friend. They come in, they take your gun and you shoot it. So I'm going to play for you these two clips which I've shot the yellowtail school of fish was on top on the surface. I saw them on the surface. I dived down four meters, five meters. I could have went comfortably to 10 meters and dived down to four or five because I knew of the technique. I've learned it um, and I just stopped. I made and uh, actually before this when i shot this the clips is actually a bit older um, before i even knew the technique of the throat so I, basically i just dived down stopped at four or five meters stayed still and they just turned around and came to me and i got my shot in and the same with the second one so enjoy that If you are new to CL Adventure, please consider subscribing. Uh, I know, you know, just get the tips and run away. We will have more tips. I will break through with you with all equipment for beginners. Um, share with you about spearfishing. We'll go out on trips, spearfishing, go out on a boat and the difference from boat and shore and whatever it may be. Uh, to help you have a more safer and a more fun dive and more successful when you are doing it your first or second or third time and uh, just for that bit more experience please subscribe liked it if you liked it drop a comment if it was helpful i hope if you if you get back in the water and a yellow tail is there uh, let me know if you use the techniques and how successful it is if you have any techniques that helps you a lot, I know it's hard for sharing, but uh, please, we all a community, we some get uh, the opportunity to do it once a month, some once a year, some three times a year. So when you get out in the water, you want to be successful. You want to shoot that yellow tail when they are there. Uh, so please share some comments below with some tips that you are using to get more fish on the boat. And... Uh, we hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you on the next video and keep well.